Let's create a droopy bow using a script in PaintShop Pro. The script in question is called Bow 15. It will use a thin ribbon of your choice and make a bow out of it. The ribbon has to be at least 80 pixels in thickness and the length has to be at least 26 times that thickness. If it's larger, the script will try to resize it. So I'm going to be using this one thin ribbon and simply run the script. And we are done with this thin ribbon. Now, if we are using a thicker ribbon, let's see what will happen. Here, the script calculated that in order to resize it to 80 pixel, the length of the ribbon would be too short. So we'll have to change this. Since this ribbon only has stripes, what I can do is resize it myself and change the proportion. So I can go under image, resize. And if I do not lock the aspect ratio, I can have a height of let's say 100 pixels and keep the width to its maximum or close to this, which is 3600. In this case, the script should resize it to the proper dimensions to run and create the bow. And it is done. Now what happens if you have a thicker ribbon but you cannot really change the proportions because the design will be modified and that's not what you want. In this case you can double the length of your ribbon especially if you have a repeated pattern. So let's do that. So I'll go under image, canvas size, and I will want to have a canvas size of 6,000 pixels. I'm sure this will be long enough. And I will keep the height as it is, which is 204. And I will place it on the left side. In the Layers palette, I will right click and duplicate my layer. And with the move tool, I'll just move this close to the end. I will try to overlap if needed. It will depend, of course, on your pattern. And I will go here close to this pattern. This is overlapping. How precise is it? I can go manually like this and if I want to be more precise I can change the blend mode to difference and I will see the difference when I move my element. As soon as it gets more black it's more aligned. So identical colors for the pixels will turn black if they are perfectly aligned. This looks good. So 
So I can just go back to normal and double check. I can see here that the height is a little off. So what I'll do is move it down a few pixels. It won't seem to change much as far as the joint here. So now right click, merge down. The two layers have become one to make a very long ribbon. And now I can run the script because once it resize it to 80 pixels, it will still be long enough. Since all the layers are linked together, it means that if I want to move my bow, everything will move together. However, the knot here is still on its own layer. So if I did want to have, for example, A ring, maybe I would have a ring. I can right click and convert this to a raster and I could move my ring inside of the knot by moving it lower in a different layer arrangement and there it is. So I can attach my bow to another element, whether it's a string, a flower stem, a ring, anything else. It could be on top, it could be on the bottom, as all the layers will follow together. Now it's your turn to create a fun droopy bow with a thin ribbon. Have fun!